PT. We talked a little bit about what to do before you get there, but what happens during Air Force basic training? Initially, when you first get there, you may or may not be starting PT until Saturday. At least that's how it was for the majority of the people there. They couldn't start us doing PT until we had our first medical visit, which was shots and blood draws and stuff like that. And you signed like a, I'm healthy enough to do PT form. Uh, and that first Saturday, um, as well as the first about week or two, you do a modified version of PT, which is a bunch of line drills, running around doing like karaoke's and stuff like that. It was because we were there in the summer, we had PT in the morning. My understanding is that during the winter months, they have PT in the afternoon. Uh, we had it six days a week um, at uh, 6.05 a.m. or something like that. Wake up, it's 5.45. I think we started PT around 6. Yeah. And it would go until about 6.45 or so, 6.50, and then we got breakfast. Usually, or shower. Or shower. It would, it would cycle off. Um, but you don't actually have your first PT test until, like, the second week there. So, PT test. They are going to put you on the running track. They're going to give you these little chips, which I assume that they still do, put yeah. them in your pocket, and it tracks your run time. And so then you go straight into, let's see, we did push-ups first. Mm -hmm. Push-ups. You just push out however many you need or how many ever you can get. And then from there you do sit-ups. Then it was 42 to pass. That much I remember. And it was, 100 was 58. For sit ups, that's mm -hmm. right. And then push ups, isn't push ups 68 for 100? 67, 68. 67. Yeah. <clears throat> but tough stuff, but it's doable. PT really isn't hard at all. We sweat a ton because we were there in the yeah. summertime. Um, they'll have the track organized by belts. So like depending how fast you are, you'll get a, a different color belt. Blue is the fastest, red is the slowest, and I think there's green and yellow in between. Yeah. Um, and it's the red belts that the MTIs kind of watch the most while you're running. They get you're on the inside circle. Mm -hmm, the inside circle of the track, so you yelled out the most because all the MTIs like to camp out in that center of the track, and they'll kind of call out at all the people who are red belts. All right, let's go, let's go. You can take a water break, by the way, when you're running, and there's porta potties there too. But beware of trying to skip out of running by hiding out by the water fountain or the because the MTIs will go over there and they'll make you jog in place while you're waiting to drink or use the bathroom. And people will think they're smart and just be like, oh, I have to poop. And they'll wait out there and uh, they just, I've heard MTIs yell to get back on the track if there's too long yep. of a line. Um, like I said in another video, I didn't really prepare very much for PT and I was fine. So you'll, you'll PT is, I can probably say is the easiest out of all the branches, I would assume just from having talked to other people in other branches. Because, yeah, we did PT six days a week, but it was always less than an hour. Um, strength days, which would alternate with run days. By the way, you do run strength, run strength. Um, they were a little harder, I would I feel like, than run days. I feel like strength days were more of a, yeah. like a intense workout than the run days they were. Because run is the run is self-paced, and it's usually about 30 minutes of a self-paced run. They have a big timer. Um, although after your first PT test, I think that's when I started the intervals where you'd sprint mm -hmm. and then run. You'd sprint and run alternating the first like eight minutes and then the rest of the time was at your own pace. Um, and you can technically walk, but you'll be approached really quickly. Yeah, I'd tread lightly with that one. Yeah, literally. Uh, PT shouldn't start until the end of the first week there and uh, your first PT test won't be about till second week or so. And uh, if you go to the Air Force's website, they have the PT standards, like I think we mentioned them earlier. It's really not hard. As long as you try a little bit, you'll be fine. It gets better as you go on. I got really into shape by the end of it. Like I was running a mile and a half, it's like no problem. Yeah. But it's how much effort you put in. You'll be running on the track and there's a good chance you'll be able to see the McDonald's arches in the background. And it's motivation, man. Motivation to get out of there. I need some food. I never thought I'd miss fast food as much as I did during basic training. Ah. Uh, that's because I'm, I'm obsessed with fast foods. I still am. But yeah, so PT, you know, you also do it during Airman's Week. I think we had PT once during Airman's Week. Seems like it. Yeah, yeah. it was once. And I think it was just, one PT. It was a very laid back run. Oh yeah, it was. It was a joke. Yeah. Um, like, like I said, PT isn't bad. If you come in already in good shape, then you're gonna wreck it out there. Um, For sure. Honestly, I know some guys that actually got out of shape because the, they worked out a ton before basic training and basic training wasn't as intense um, as I guess their workouts have been or something like that. Yeah. Um, 
if you have any other questions, let us know. And uh, hopefully that was enough of an explanation about PT. I know there's a lot of other videos out there about PT, but there really isn't that much to say about it, just that it's easy. Don't worry about it too much, but the more shape you can get in now, the better off you'll be later.